Okay, so the second one in the big three natural treatments is called stinging nettle. So stinging nettle is native to Europe, Asia, North Africa, and North America, and is best known member of the nettle genus Eurtica. The plant has many hollow stinging hairs called trichomes on its leaves and stems, which act like hypodermic needles, injecting histamine and other chemicals that produce a stinging sensation when contacted by humans and other animals. The plant has a long history of use as a medicine and as a food source. Extracts of nettle have been included in hair tonics for centuries due to its purported ability to stimulate hair growth. In clinical research, nettle has demonstrated the ability to stop conversion of testosterone to dihydrotestosterone by inhibiting aromatase, an enzyme required for the conversion of estrogen, as well as to directly bind to SHBG, which is sex hormone binding globulin itself, thereby preventing SHBG from binding to other hormones. Other research also reveals Nettles can prevent SHBG that has already bound to a hormone from attaching to the receptor sites on the prostate, as well as to decrease the production of estrogens by inhibiting an enzyme required for their production. So in summary, most of the intercellular processes required to trigger the prostate to grow new cells and enlarge seems to be inhibited by nettle root. Human and animal clinical studies have confirmed these effects and also demonstrated that nettle root works as well as the drug finasteride, which is prescribed for BPH, and is also better tolerated than the drug. Nettle has been employed for the general purposes of an astringent, both internally and externally, in hemorrhages, ill, conditioned, ulcers, and chronic disease of the mucous membranes of the bronchi, bowels, and urinary organs. It is one of the wild plants still gathered each spring in rural regions as a spring tonic and pot herb. It makes a healthy and very nutritious vegetable, which is cleansing and easy to digest. An old country remedy for chronic rheumatism and arthritis is the urtication. Or flogging with nettles. Some folks even keep a nettle plant growing on a sunny windowsill so that the healing stings might be applied throughout the winter. It is a strange fact that the juice of the nettle proves an antidote for its own sting and being applied will afford instant relief. Possible, although usually not serious side effects that have been reported with this supplement include upset stomach, sweating, diarrhea, stinging, itching, rash, and burning, usually after exposure to fresh stinging nettle leaves. Okay, so combining salt palmetto and nettle has been known to work even better instead of salt palmetto itself. But there is one more in the big three natural treatment category and is known for when all three of these natural treatments are combined. It makes for a great combination. And it lies in the next video, so I'll see you there.